Welcome, welcome, unboxing fans. We're doing another vintage unboxing today. Very vintage unboxing. Vintage unboxing. Uh, this is a very exciting one for me today because we are doing Baron Karza. He is my favorite one of the vintage Micronauts figures. He is the very first one that I ever got when I was a kid. I uh, got a lot of used and hand-me-down second-hand kind of toys when I was a kid. We didn't have a lot of money, so I got a lot of stuff from uh, second-hand stores or uh, other people who had kids that had grown out of their toys. And uh, anyway, this was something that came to me very mysteriously one day. My mom just showed up with it. She said a friend of hers had a son that had outgrown them. Uh, gave me, uh, I don't think it had the box, I don't think it had any of the styrofoam or anything like that, I think it was just like loose in a bag, but uh, it was Baron Karza himself, and I had never seen a figure with rocket fire punch, I had never seen a magnetic interlock figure, I had literally never heard of the Micronauts line, uh, and I did not know what it was or where it came from for many, many years, and like maybe 10 years after I got this figure, I was at somebody's house and uh, one of their brothers or somebody who lived in the house had a uh, poster of the uh, Micronauts uh, figures on their wall and it had an advertisement for Baron Karza and Force Commander and it had them with their horses which I didn't know they had horses. It was just such an amazing thing and this one weird special toy that uh, none of my friends had heard of or understood and uh, I had never seen any promotions or advertisements for it and then found out it was part of this gigantic world and uh, people uh, of the generation before mine were very familiar with this but uh, it was a mystery to me for the longest time so kind of a special thing. Uh, funnily enough I ended up uh, playing with him uh, with my Transformers figures a whole lot and uh, he originally is based off of uh, Kotetsu Jig, and uh, he is a figure made by Takara, which was responsible for a lot of the original Transformers. So it kind of made sense that I was playing with them together, even though they were kind of from different eras of toys. Uh, here is the back of his box without too much hesitation here. I like that they show you he has ability to have rocket feet or drill feet, depending on your interpretation of those. Uh, I know they're probably supposed to be rockets, but I always thought they could go either way. Um, side of the box. I know this is a lot of suspense and build-up for this one. I usually go through these a lot faster, but this one just means a whole lot to me. So here we are, opening it up. This is a Micronauti. These uh, were sold in America, but I got the Italian version, so as I anticipated, we will have the interesting green variant instructions on the super thin paper that you only get from Italy. Here we can see green schematic of Baron Carza. Here's so how you press down to get his robot rocket punch to activate. Here's how you get his jetpack to work. If you don't have this schematic, then this little piece is an utter mystery. <laughs> it's really, you have the hardest time figuring out what the hell you're supposed to do with it until you actually get one of these instructions in your hands. At least I did. I, it was not an intuitive bit for me. Um, here is the promotional material. This may have been, I don't think it was, but something like this is what I saw on the wall that let me know there was a whole world of these things. I, I think I remember it being bigger, but then again, I think I also remember being 12 or something when I saw it, maybe 14, so I was also shorter. It's possible that this is the thing that was on the wall. But maybe there's a bigger poster version of this out there somewhere, but I do remember it had these two guys on it. And that set me on my quest of collecting years later, which you are now on with me today. 
Here is the box itself with our friend. The right way around. And... Ta-da! Baron Karza. He is... Got most of his robot punch things intact. A little bit... Not so shiny. His chest could be a little bit shinier. He's had some wear. He is... Over 40 years old now, though, so let's give him some credit. As always, let's see the patent pending stuff that they tattooed on his behind. If I can get this to focus. There we go. Copyright, Mego Corporation, 1977, patent pending. Here are all of his magnetic bits. My favorite part of him. And then, because one of his fists was undone, we can go ahead and show you the rocket fist feature. Ready, and kapow! Bang! And just to prove, but I actually did own one of these at some point. I went in my old toy drawer and dug out the last pieces of my old original Baron Karza that I got when I was a little kid. Sadly, I only have one bit of a rocket and one arm left, which now will go in a drawer with this guy to be used as replacements or spares as needed. But this is Baron Karza. This has been Unboxing Him. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.